Welcome back, boys, to another video. Okay, so we're part timing. Nah, he's I'm, full timing today. Yeah, I was about to say. He's assembling our new Bellux for the Honda. He did already get one assembled and with the 15 mil spacer and not grinding the caliper. Unfortunately, it still looks close to what we were at before. It's definitely better. If you take a look here, you can see it doesn't stick out nearly as much. It's, it's a lot better than what it was, to be honest, actually looking at it on camera. But I still wanna try to get this in here more. And we're already pretty close right here on the caliper. So they already told me that we would have to grind the face of the caliper, which is fine. There's a lot of meat there. And this is a 15 mil spacer. I'd like to get the car down to a 10. And I think that extra five mil would be the difference of us being at the top of the tire right here to the rounded part. So still got some work to do with that. This thing's in the background. Um, Brian from Dark Matter Coatings picked up the compressor housing on this thing and the uh, intercooler piping to get that powder coated for us. Uh, this morning I was finished up Zach's stage three short block to get that thing all shipped out. It's all ready to go. Also, now the good news, our four piston racing ported OEM. That's right, OEM Honda oil pump came in. I was worried because I didn't have a seal. Thank you to four piston. There's already an OEM seal in the pump, so we're good to go. But we got this thing ready to go on. It's already, um, can't think today. It's already packed with lube. This thing's ported, obviously. They say this thing's good up to past 9,000 RPMs. So this is gonna be perfect for what we need. I'm gonna go ahead and get that sealed, get it on to our motor. And then we can start getting this, we're gonna get this thing off the stand, get the transmission and the clutch off of it today, get it in the car. That is the plan. Today is Friday. I know I promised you guys Forrester will be done today and that it will indeed be done, but Ransfield caught the loop. They're gonna have it done by midnight tonight, so. Damn them. So you're gonna have to wait for Forrester stuff. Uh, I plan on picking it up late tonight. I'm gonna have to edit this video and get it up for you guys, then go pick up the car because we have a tune tomorrow. I'm not gonna have time. So you will be seeing the Forrester content coming back. In the meantime, I wanna get the motor in this car and hopefully maybe finish this project before we do the Forrester stuff, but we'll see if we run into any more snags. But let's go ahead, get our oil pump mounted on our engine, get the thing back together. Damn, I forgot the oil pan seal, Chase. Fuck! I'm gonna make a phone call to get that oil pan seal. I forgot all about that. The good thing is I can put the oil pan on the motor for right now and just sit it up there and then I can do the seal in the car. So that's what I'm gonna do because I don't got time to go run and get that gasket right now. So let's get this on. All right, let's see. Dig for my oleum pile here. Ooh. Ah. Where is it? That ain't it. We gotta find our seals. Get all this stuff out of our way. Damn, where is this shit? It's gonna be the last thing I touch. Watch. I know it's in here. Hmm. Where did I put those OEM seals? What, did I miss it? I don't know where I put my oil pump seals. I know I got them. Chase, you seen them? That's not the stuff that we need. That's the old oil pump. Damn, did I lose my seals? There's no way. That's a key way. And that's a starter bolt. We're gonna need a pressure plate bolt. Maybe this is, ah, right in front of my face. So if you need part number, that would be the O-ring that goes on the back of the pump. That's gonna go right there. If you need the pickup gasket, this one, it goes obviously right there. That is that part number. Gonna get these out, get some sealant on here, nice light coating. I still need to clean off the sealant here and then we'll get that one bolted on.
All right, I got this thing hanging off the sand here, jumping a little bit ahead. Still got the valve cover off, but I don't want to scratch it. Already got our new flywheel on. I just did the OEM factory weighted flywheel. And then this is an Exedi stage one disc and clutch kit. So I got that all on. I'm getting ready to bolt the transmission on. Well, I just wanted to update you guys before I do that. So let me go ahead and grab the trans, slide it on here, and we'll be ready to get this thing in the car. There we have it, guys. We have a full, complete lawn block ready to go in the car with the trans on. Everything's on. Kind of fighting myself not to paint the trans, but because you can tell, obviously, the blocks and pan. Head's not. Head's bare. I wish the block was bare because then we just have a full bare engine. Um, this trans is in such good shape. I know it looks dirty because of the block, but it really is in such good shape that it would be a shame to paint this thing, guys. Obviously, with paint, it becomes a lot more maintenance. So I think I'm I'm just going to leave it. It's already on, so I'm leaving it. Put my brand new boot cover. I don't think I've ever felt one be that soft. And obviously, it is because it's brand new. This thing is 100% ready to go in, and I could not be more excited, guys, to see this thing in that car. I know I was a little bit off about the red, but I think the red's gonna go really good in here. Worst case, I said that if we have to, we would redo this black, but I think it's gonna be really good for the car. So let's go ahead, get this thing up, get this thing rolled underneath, and we will get this thing thrown in the car. Casey didn't even let me finish bolting this thing all the way in. She looks. Oh, guys, it looks really good. I know red and blue kind of clashes, but. I don't care. It looks amazing. This, mm. She I looks so good. Now. So now I do need to do my rear T bracket mount. That's easy now. Side mounts are all the way in, guys. This thing is sitting there on its own. Watch out, boys. We're B searing my STI now. Just keep out there. Uh, rotating the wrong direction no it's still the same way no uh -huh. they don't go they're the only one of the few motors that go counterclockwise mm. in rotation mm -hmm. yep someone was commenting that when i was saying we're going to put the d series in yeah they said they would already b swap their sti mm. so yeah she's in boys we in we in we in and i'm out you got a grinch still boy. eating bro. we got a grinch right still eating <laughs> Bro. Eats all day long, every day. Hockey sticks, though. Oh, my God. Go get them if you haven't tried them. Justin's back. We're going to get food because he's food. been eating all day, and we're fucking hungry. Josh ate the same amount of food as me. He just doesn't no, eat I didn't. I had, no, bro, you ate two pizzas. I ate two pieces of it. No. See. Two slices I all ate I ate. like six slices of a medium-sized Where's Domino's. all the pizza? I don't know. You Weird. I don't, nah, your, I don't you ate pizza. it. No, nah, I threw your shit away. Give me an Oompa Oompa. Christmas. That's what you are. <laughs> oompa, oompa. Yo, oompa this dee, looks like a dee. fucking oompa loompa. This looks like the blueberry. Wow. Apple. What's it called? <laughs> fucking Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Here we go. She's in. Some of this is in for mock up. Header is on for mock up. Intake is. I got to pull it off to seal the oil pan. We got the passenger side axle in. Starters in. Radiator sitting there. Need to get some clamps for the hoses. Just definitely all the small little things for this thing. Uh, we need to go get food. You have been eating for all three of us, but we need food. We need food. So we're going to get food. That's going to wrap it up. On, it's going to be the end of this video. Probably a pretty short one today. <laughs> Not too much, but we at least got the motor in the car and we're going to pick up the Forester. Yeah. Gay. <laughs> yeah, I can see your gay car. <laughs>
Throw it away. Throw your ass away. Yeah. Guys, guys, we're back. We're back. I wasn't gonna throw this in the video, but this back is, again. This is why your video is getting up late tonight Here. because let me get that side. Let me get that side. you got to get that side, yeah. Because Please you already know. Oh, we got. Oh my god! Oh god! He can't do anything one hand. Oh. Why don't you got your power steering rack one hand the other day. Shut up. She back. She back. She back. She built. Yeah. She built. You can see a silhouette here. I'll give you one last silhouette as we pull it in the shop. And then I'll wrap out the video. But you're gonna have to wait to see what we did to this thing. There she is, boys. She is back in the shop. Back from Ranchville. They held up to their word. Friday, 11 p.m. So they did hold up to their word. You can't can't be mad at them. Nope. She's in here. That means content's coming soon on this thing. Obviously, we're gonna wrap up this hatch. I'm hoping tomorrow. We gotta tune tomorrow, so maybe not. But wrap that up. Once that's started. We'll get back on the Forester. Till then, it's bedtime. See ya. Bedtime for these guys. I gotta edit still. Huh. I'm tired. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. about tomorrow i'm just living in the moment the moment the moment fool take a gas and 200 on the dash bitch i'm zoning i'm zoning i'm zoning fast lane living life up in the fast lane Life up in the fast lane. 